Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. And I'm Brianna Matskis, and today is FabriChat. Right. We don't even Good know. Good morning. Good morning. No. So today is July 14th, National What? It is Brittany Rang's birthday today. Oh, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> What? National what? A special day. What? What is it, Brittany? What is today? National what? She probably knows. She doesn't know. Oh, see, I thought you were going to blurb something like too... Fluffy Cat Day or something. Oh, I was going to, but I was just too excited that it was Brittany's birthday. I know. It's, now we're into like this world of birthday, birthday, birthday. It's a whole lot of yeah, partying happening for a while. A whole lot of birthdays mm -hmm. for a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And we, um, we've shortened our intro, so if you're new to our channel, Brittany is the videographer, also my daughter-in-law, married to my oldest son, Brianna's older brother. Mm -hmm. Brianna mm -hmm. and I have owned a quilt shop for 21 years. Yeah. We started when you were six, which makes you how old? Is the math right? Dude, I don't know, 28. Seven. How old's Robert? <laughs> I don't know. I was arguing with my mother-in-law about, about how old I was, and she's like, Brianna. Do the math. math. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I like, I don't do math. Uh, mm, you tell me. And Robert's like, well, I'm this. I'm like, okay, that I'm that old. And I, she's like, you don't know your age? Like, no. I'd be no, handcuffed and put in jail. It's a thing. I don't know. I was we like, talked about this before. The I made it to 21. Now it's just I know my babies. birth year, and if I don't do the math quick <laughs> enough, I don't know. 27, Brianna. I am 27. 27. That's what I thought. 20. Quilt shop 21 years. You oh, started yeah. at six. You could do the math a little easier. Plus, yeah, there Carry you the six, Subtract. divide by four. Bam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> it's Why? National Get a Calculator Day. No. <laughs> wait, wait. Long division. <laughs> yeah. It's National Mac and Cheese Day. Oh! Cheese Day! <laughs> National Nude Day! Oh! oh. National <laughs> Nude Day! Nude and mac and cheese. We're gonna have mac that and cheese for dinner. That is a good day. And then our car In game the is, nude. <laughs> it's gonna turn to strip poker because it's Nude Day after dinner. In the nude. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's pretty funny. I wonder what that means that that's her birthday. Mm. We can make up I a do poem. I love macaroni and cheese. She loves macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Harper hates clothes right now. Yesterday well, it's she's two. Gosh, she just hates clothes. So yeah. yesterday she, um, we were in the living room playing with the dogs or whatever, and then she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go play with magnets." So she goes into the playroom, and she was really good. She was really quiet. She's like, oh, "I'm quiet. I'm gonna go check on Harper, and make sure she's okay. You know, not playing in her hair stuff, whatever." I'm in there. She is naked. <laughs> that girl is sitting there playing with her magnets, naked. <laughs> she's taking all of her clothes off. <laughs> A socks and all. Oh all of it. God. It's all up. I said, Harper. I said, I was like, Harper. Yeah, Mom. I said, where are your clothes? In my room. Why are they in your room? I don't know. Okay, well, we need <laughs> panties. At least panties. Let's put some panties on. Um, and she waddled, and she put some on, she came back, and yeah, that was it. Just took a while off. I don't know why they're in there. I didn't want them That's on. hilarious. Yeah, she's in my clothes. She takes off running out of the tub. Cause yeah. She... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. She is in, yeah, she doesn't like clothes at the moment. That's hilarious. Well, it's because it's so dang hot. It's because it's way too hot to yeah. wear clothes. I don't blame her. Yeah. If I looked as cute as she did. I naked, know. Right? I would also be naked. Yes. Since it's National Nude Day. Right, it's only appropriate. So today she should be able to just strip. Do it. Yeah. 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 She prefers it that way. Sunburn Why it doesn't understand? Why it's like, why is she naked? <laughs> <laughs> he just has this very, Not okay. very upset look like, uh, well, what is happening? Four, I know. And so, there are rules. Uh, Harper has no clothes on. <laughs> ah, Harper. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least it happens at home and not at daycare. That is true. There has been no episodes at daycare, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we were talking last week about the heat. Yeah. Still an issue. Still over 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. Still sweltering. Still no opportunity to buy a kiddie pool uh, yeah. for the They dog. don't come in as fast as they go out. Yeah. Or 
any kind of pool toys. So we were whining last week because we couldn't get squirt guns or water balloons or anything. Yeah. We couldn't, we've just never been in the right time when the shipment comes in. If there's no shipments coming in, I don't even know what's happening, but no store mm -hmm. in town has them. Guess what happens? I know! We got the nicest box, great big huge box. I thought for sure that she was shipping a quilt or something. Yeah. It came from our friend Allie Babcock from Manhattan Beach, California. Box full. Oh, pool toys. Pool toys. So exciting. Yes. Uh, squirt guns, water balloons, some sort of a little basketball thing yeah. in the lake. Really, really nice. And I just want you to notice that they were for Nana. For Nana. Yeah, I see that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's great. The grandkids need to have some water fun. Yeah. Fondly. <laughs> Allie Babcock. Allie, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I can't wait. So for not, I can't wait because we're going to have a party this weekend because we have to celebrate a birthday. Yeah. A yeah. national nude day and macaroni and cheese day. I don't know what all. But anyway, so we're going to have a, I don't know that we'll be able to find a pool of any sorts, but at least we'll have water fights. Water fights. Yeah. That's the best thing. I have we a are little. still picking water balloons out of our grass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From the last time. Mm -hmm. yeah, Those are doozy. I have a little old um, ball pit thing. It's teeny tiny. It was like a baby ball pit. But you can, we can I bring that. I bought that for you. Yeah. We use it for a pool before we got the bigger oh. pool. Um, <laughs> I wonder if I have a picture. That's smart. I should see. But we filled it up. It's not, it's, it's small. Um, and you know, three inches deep. It's hardly anything. But why put a slide in it? So all you could do is just slide down into water. He thought it was pretty cool. He was a little upset when he got him a big pool because his little pool couldn't be set up anymore. And he's like, well, I think I should have both of my pools. Yes. So, and we yes. put the other one up last night and Harper likes it because Harper doesn't like to splash. Mm -hmm. She just likes to cool off. So she, she wants to get sit. wet on her terms. Yeah. So she'll kind of sit in and splash and then Wyatt's, you know, being all boy in the other one with a big slide and all of that. But it's pretty fun. Super fun. Exciting. Exciting. Well, so I thought we would catch up just a little bit. Most of what I have on my stack is catch up stuff. So, um, so I kind of worry, you know, every once in a while somebody will like, um, I don't know how they find us if they're not looking for us, yeah. you know, because I don't know if I told you this or not, but somebody had left a comment that said, is your show just about boobs? <laughs> said, when did you watch that? I don't know which one, because I think there was when we were talking about cleavage or something. I don't know what we were talking about. But I think that every once in a while, you know, because I think that we are just girls. Yeah. Talking about girl stuff. And we get out of rant. You know, once and in a while. I think that that's how the whole thing started was that we couldn't have classes and we yeah. missed our people. And, you know, 10 people were watching because, you know, we, no one could come in because of COVID. And so now there's more than 10 people watching, but it's yeah. still just girls talking about girl stuff. So, I mean, I know that Roger Holloway watches because, you know, he's Roger and he lives yeah. with faith and he gets us. He knows us. So, Roger, that's good that yeah. he watches. But <laughs> I don't know who else watches. Yeah, and so yeah. I think it's funny that every once in a while somebody will put a comment. And and I suppose if you, if you don't know them. who we are, yeah. you might not know. But no, it is not about boobs. It's just that... <laughs> <laughs> Boobs are a girl thing, and we talk about those every once in a while. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, some of this stuff is like catch-up stuff, so it's kind of fun. So, one thing that I was ranting about, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago about sending Dad to the store. Oh, yes. For so, sourdough um, bread. And, yeah, for sourdough bread. He had no idea what sourdough bread was. He couldn't get, what was the other thing he couldn't get? Chicken top ramen. Chicken top ramen. He couldn't get that. <laughs> I know. And a side note, I wasn't going to talk about this, but last night, um, he was already in his pickup. Otherwise, I would not have sent him. I really, I really, yeah. you know, it's just hit or miss. But he was already in his pickup. My car was super hot. Can you swing into the store? All I needed was um, a bag of rice, white rice, and lemon juice. Okay. Pretty simple. And so his response was, keep your phone close. <laughs> he didn't even know if he could find those Why things. Why did he just ask for the clerk? I don't. What? Why does he just ask a clerk? Say, hey, I need white rice and lemon juice. People. Well, no, I don't either, but you think it'd be easy yeah. for him. You'd just, think this is what I need. He did find the Please white rice. You. He did call and ask because there was one bag that was like twelve dollars and one that was two dollars or whatever. And I said, no, 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 the two dollars fine. It doesn't have to be jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. He says, well, where does it say that? And I said, it doesn't matter. It just, <laughs> just doesn't it. matter. <laughs> and then he could not find the lemon juice. I got two different phone calls. Where do you really? think the lemon juice is? And I thought, well, I don't know. I think I feel like I just know where it is. And I said, what does it say up above? And he said, well, none of them say lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, they would not. Maybe? 
that's what I said. I, and he's <laughs> reading them off, and one said ketchup, and I said, oh, go down the ketchup pile. It'll be down there. So then, a little bit later, he calls me back. It's not down the ketchup pile. And he says, you know, I don't even know. I said, how about this? Just go get me a lemon. Oh, so he did that. So he brought home the bag of rice, um, two lemons, mm. and about four boxes of candy. <laughs> So, you know, so that ass is candy. I know, though. I know. I think the funniest thing <laughs> is when he goes to the dollar store. Oh my gosh, I know. Loves the dollar store. You know what's that saying? A kid in a candy store. Mm -hmm. It's dad in the dollar, dollar store. store. Yeah, he loves it. And if I'm ever in there with him, it's like, look, this is only a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's eighty-eight cents at Walmart, but whatever. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't really care. It's a dollar. <laughs> Right. A can of chili. This is a dollar. <laughs> yeah, don't buy that. <laughs> Put that back. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, boxes of cookies. Yeah, we don't eat those either. But anyway, he oh, he likes That's it. Hilarious. But anyway, so Cheryl Young, I'm gonna turn this around. But can I like just email this picture and you can plop this picture in to make it easier for them? So Cheryl Young from San Diego uh, sent this uh, list for men. Oh, oh, right? pictures. Right. That's so all you have perfect. to do is just either take a picture, download a picture, print it off. I mean, this, this, this is this. what I need. It looks like this. That's so, so smart. I know. So stinking smart. That's brilliant. So smart. Here's the thing that I noticed looking at this list is that would you really trust your husband getting 16 things? I know, right? A lot. But I think if it Robert, was 16 things, you would have to have something like that. Right, because I said Robert just thinks he can remember it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then the one thing I really, yeah. really needed, like the gallon of milk, was really important, and yeah. I don't have milk. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. But, I yeah. Know. I think that's a that's pretty smart pretty thing. Smart. And I liked it. So that was really good. So, Cheryl, thank you. Good tip. Thank you. Really good Send tip. Send with pictures. So, viewers' tips today. And that makes sense, doing. because when he, Robert makes me go to Ace Hardware, I, said, I need a picture. No, I don't Like, know. even one of those, remember that picture that I don't, I don't remember. I should click it in there. But he sent a picture. It seemed like he had something naughty. And I was like, I don't know what this is, but it's a no. And it was some sort of pipe fitting for the sink in our bathroom. And I was like, oh, I was worried I'd have to ask someone about this. And oh, I should I just find it and flip it in there for you. But yeah, he sends me with pictures. But it's funny he sends me a picture of the label. It's like, what's the grand scheme? What are we working yeah, with? You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah
like Darner. a needle. Darner. Darner. Oh. Darner. And then the other thing which I thought was super hilarious is like, oh my gosh, half a dozen or more thought that I, that it was hundreds of damn selfies. <laughs> Thanks for still watching even if that was selfies. Damn selfies. <laughs> And someone, I forget, who said, oh, they thought maybe it was damn selfies because those high school girls oh, yeah. had come over and we were taking selfies. <laughs> That'd be so funny. And I answered it back, yeah, that could totally happen. Yeah. But yeah. it didn't. So it was nice that you thought I said damn selfies and you still <laughs> looked at that. But, so then what I thought is I'm thinking that that's how you you spell damselflies. I think it is all one word, but I decided maybe it wasn't. So I now, when you click on it, it says damsel flies and it's two oh, different sure. words so people will wonder why I'm posting 200 damn selfies of myself <laughs> in, the, in the garden but anyway so those are the and then um, our friend Kim from who came up from Texas I think we talked about her last week mm -hmm. um, we went down we went down to the lake um, every night went on walks and um, went out on the kayaks and anyway and even just going across the grass just hundreds of them down there at the lake and when we were out on the lake you know how every once in a while there's like oh, a rock, yeah. even sitting on the rock. Oh, and I cute. thought, oh, it just makes you want to even take more pictures of them. But yeah, yeah, she was amazed at how many there were, and um, and she has come and gone. I think I said I was going to report. She was fun. Back. So she was great. nice, so nice, and I think that's just such a fun thing to do. It's really fun when you meet somebody, mm -hmm. and. Um, you just feel like you know them, you know, and she's, people say that to us all the time. Oh, I feel like I know you. And I think that that's really nice, but um, that makes me feel good. But I think quilters, it's like you don't really know a stranger. You know? Yeah, I agree with so, that. So she was really mm -hmm. nice, but here for three days and we got all of the dirt on the, the PNT is the lingo. Pacific Northwest Trail, that's what they call it, is the PNT. And like the Appalachian Trail is the ACT or something like that. But uh -huh. anyway, we got the whole dirt on that and it goes from Montana. Here's the other funny thing we realized. It kind of drops down and they go like right past the cabin. Oh, cool. And up into Orville and over. No and way! I know. And so I thought, gosh, if you find it where he was, wouldn't it be fun to just like surprise him in Orville? Hey, I know who you are. <laughs> Guess who I am? <laughs> I have some peanut butter for you. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> yeah, I read. <laughs> I know. I know that might be a little too much, so Kim might not tell me when he's going to be there, but who knows. I mean, I think that they they hike like um, two to three miles per hour. Wow. And if you watch the video of it, it is like, parts of it are pretty treacherous. Parts of it, oh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Can help parts it. of it are treacherous. Parts of it are on the road. Um, but anyway, it's kind of cool. That's There's a lot cool. of different YouTube videos about it. But anyway, we watched a bunch and... I think she was a little nervous at first to watch it because she was nervous about bears, but I think... I think bears are the least of the worries, really. They're not really going to hunt you. Well, between bears and... No, but a cougar will. Right. And I'd be more worried about there. a cougar than a bear. But that's why I think that you shouldn't hike alone. He is currently alone, but I think he keeps finding people. But that's the other funny thing about these guys is that they walk at their own pace. Right. Because even the one that we were watching, it's like, and everybody has a trail name and whatever this one gal's name was, they say, yeah, she's back there somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, why would you leave her? Just wait. But I don't know. That's what they do. Yeah. You'd think you'd want a trail buddy anyways. Yeah. I wouldn't want to sleep alone. I mean, I'd want somebody to stay awake while I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you keep watching. Watch for bears. <laughs> Let me sleep. Yeah. But they probably have, like, I know, like, Nathan used to do backpacking and stuff, and there are, like, extra, like, super, super duper lightweight tents and the whole nine They do, They yeah, really do light. have yeah. the whole mm -hmm. enclosure and everything where you are, you know, somewhat kept in and... Yeah, they yeah. all have the tents, and they all have these funny little shoes, special shoes. They all have the same ones, and mm -hmm. it's quite a thing, but... I don't know. Good for them. Yeah, anyway, it was really interesting. It makes, while you're watching it, it almost kind of makes you want to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. But. As long as there's some yeah, pit for a nice bed. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And then, um, did you watch Wild? I did not. We started it, yeah. um, but I fell asleep like five minutes and it was too late for me to start it. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Um, and then, <clears throat> we've talked about movies. That Wild, that that's a different, that's the Pacific Crest Trail that goes right. from. Mexico to Canada, 
we looked at that too, 2,600 miles. The Pacific Northwest Trail is 1,200 miles. And it goes from where to where? From the top of uh, Glacier Park, so oh, okay. middle of Montana roughly, um, across uh, to the upper corner of Washington. But what happens is you hike down because then you have to come up the peninsula. So oh, for sure. like the last leg of it, the last couple of days, you're walking along the beach. So you have to be very aware of low tide and high tide. Oh, and, sure. Yeah, and lots of rain, of yeah, course. of course. You know, but. Cool. Yeah, kind of cool. But um, but anyway, so, and then that was the other thing too, is um, Joan Johnen, I think is how maybe we pronounce her name, J-O-H-N-E-N. She um, keeps uh, texting me different movies that we should watch. Ooh. And one that she suggested, it is so good, a heartfelt, true story um, called The Blue Miracle. So <laughs> shout out to Joan, very good movie. We did watch it last night. Super, super, super good. Funny, sweet. Really good. Was it on so, Netflix or? It's Android? on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, the Blue Miracle. So, next uh, on the on the must watch list. Uh, very good. So, all right. Let's see what else. Oh, I, I wanted to just share this just for a second. So, uh, this is a this is it, it is a commercial, but they have no idea yeah. that we're doing it totally unsolicited just one of those things that when you know that there's something that's fantastic and you tell a friend that's what it is so there's a little lavender farm just outside of town actually it's in George Washington which is about 10 miles from us and it's called Trinity Lavender Farm and um, uh, they have a website and I think we'll have Brittany put the link uh, below for you but and they do all kinds of products it's a family operation there's a mother and a dad and a brother and a uh, sister and um, they all kind of have their different things that they do and um, they're open I think are they open it's seven days a week or six days a week from like nine to three yeah Tuesday and Tuesday through Saturday Tuesday, Tuesday through, through Saturday, Saturday. nine ish to three -ish. nine ish to three ish yeah it depends on the weather how hot it is if they're it. watering oh yeah totally if the surfs up all of that but they're a bit of a a bit of a jaunt they're out on and i think Silica they Road, said april to september is that what it's on i think so yeah and they're actually also an event place so you can have weddings out there and do different things but that's what they do is they grow lavender um, multiple different um uh, varieties of it it is a beautiful place mm -hmm. but they also grow other things and what the daughter does is she does all of the um potion mixing mixing things and she makes the soap and the products and that kind of stuff and they sell it online so I want to tell you about two that are fantastic these little four ounce squirt bottles they're only five dollars and fifty cents which is like super super amazing at some point she's gonna realize what she has and she's gonna mark up that price but mm -hmm. this one is called bug me not it's not did you do you try any of this did I you did. get any of this mm -hmm. I'm gonna squirt some on you or here you squirt it on you so she mixes this up, so it's lavender, and it has a little bit of citronelle in it, right? Smells good. It has a little bit of mint in it. I think there's maybe some sage. I'm gonna make up some other things there. I don't know. Oh, it says, it says, saying. distilled okay. water and the essential oils of lavender, mint, tea tree, citronella, eucalyptus, and rosemary. All of those things it's that so do what, do what? Keep bugs away. It Bro. works so it smells great. So good. You just spray this stuff on you because who wants to put DEET? You don't want to yeah. put DEET on kids. You don't want to put DEET on yourself. Mm -hmm. But um, this really, really works, and it smells good. Oh yeah, look at her groan. I put it even <laughs> in the dog. Yeah. You know, because then no ticks, no mosquitoes. If you're out doing yep. things, so this time of year when you're out at the lake and there's issues with mosquitoes, it used or to be. Or if you're that hiking. If you're hiking, if you're on the trail, yeah. Oh, I should meet him in lavender with some essential. I totally want to this meet him. This crazy in woman. I know. <laughs> oh no, you're one of mom's friends. I know who you are. <laughs> Don't run. I'm safe. <laughs> yes. But anyway, for me, it used to be if I were sitting outside in the evening, I would have to be surrounded yeah. by citronella candles, you know, and sitting over the top, and even that really doesn't work. But this stuff works really, really good. $5.50, mm -hmm. absolutely fantastic. And then, if that's not enough, she also has this one, and this one is called Aleve, or Alleviate, Alleviate, Alleviate. So if you got eaten by the bugs, or you have a sunburn, you put this on, and it's very, very soothing. It's really, mm -hmm. really nice. I don't have my glasses. Does she yeah. say what's it in says, that one? It um, says, sprant bug bites, rashes, and burns for temporary relief. Mm -hmm. It has it lavender, good. hydrosol. So that hydros yeah, it has to be hydrosol. 
um, aloe vera and vitamin E. There you go. Okay. All the good oh. things. Yeah. All that it's and sprayable. So, I hate the, I know, the, the lotions and aloe vera the burn cream. Oh, mm -hmm. It makes my hands smell bad. It smells bad. It smells really, really good. And you know, the funny thing about this it was that um, even before I started buying her stuff, um, um, I would have just a little lavender roll-on, yeah. you know, essential oil so that if I did have a bite or something, you can roll that on. Nothing works better than, it works better than Benadryl. So mm -hmm. this works super, super good. And cool. what's really nice is that it also works for sunburn. So again, summer fun, 11 bucks for both of them. So anyway, That's awesome. little, and again, totally unsolicited commercial. They have no, they don't even know who we are. Yeah. I mean, we just buy stuff from them. They have no idea. So. Anyway, it'd be cool. really nice if all of a sudden they go, wow, why is everybody from Pennsylvania, Texas, buying our stuff? Because you need it. Yeah. You and welcome. buy it before they jack up the price, because $6 oh, for that is awesome. Yeah, super crazy. They have no idea. No, they don't. Yeah. They're going to run out. So Good buy now. Them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. So let's talk a little bit then about videos. So the one behind us. Oh, yes. Double Twist. This is the one that went out um, yesterday. That went out yesterday. Um, Double Twist uh, uses jelly rolls. Pretty fun. This one's just kind of scrappy one. I think it's super one. cute. Yeah. And it is one that if you watch her video, um, you probably already noticed, you know, you could probably do it without a pattern. It's super, super simple. But what the pattern gives you is it gives you the chart, mm -hmm. you know, Look for, that. yeah, if you want, not, and again, same thing, if you just know that um, two jelly rolls is going to, you know, make it... 48 by, well, no, I don't know how to read it. I need to put my glasses on. Anyway, <laughs> you can do the own math yourself, but that's really the difference with the pattern. But, you know, yeah, you it just gives you all those. the math instead of you having to, you know, yeah. trial and error through it. And, you know, it was kind of funny because years ago, we used to just do demonstrations in the store all the time. Just, yeah. oh, let me show you this really cool technique. And then they would say, well, do you have a pattern? It's like, no, I'm, I just showed you. <laughs> It's like, no, but do you have it written? No, I just showed you how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So it still is Video hard me. It's like, okay, I'm going to write it down. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, and some people like it because they'll forget. Right. You know, and that's why I like a pattern because it'll remind me, oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to make this. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. um, so I'll have it in writing for a couple dollars. So, so there's that. And then what else are we doing this week? Oh, and the GIF thing. Did yeah. we talk about the GIF thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did last time because that was two weeks ago. That's two People weeks ago. are still commenting on the GIF thing. Good. I'm glad you they, guys know yeah, it. It's all of it's the super grandmas fun. that are excited about doing that with their grandkids and so. Um, but what are our other videos this week? We did. You'll see us tonight for box opening. Tonight for box um, opening. We're gonna. We have a little, mm, a little more than a little of clearance. We have a nice little collection for clearance. So it's gonna be maybe mostly clearance um, tonight. Maybe. Maybe. We never know. Well, I'll have to go back and look and see what we've got for boxes back there. Um, I should come prepared to talk to you guys, but... Mm. Um, but she'll change her mind <laughs> anyway, so it's probably best. Yeah. And everybody, somebody has asked, well, how come Brianna gets to decide? Well, Brianna, she of course gets to decide everything. But <laughs> also, she's the one that puts everything on the computer. Yeah. So it has to be... And sometimes it depends on if there is a lot of new stuff. It depends on how much. Um, if it's all like a bunch of big collections, that's kind of easy. But if it's a lot of little ones, it makes it harder to put in in a prompt amount of time. So Sometimes she's up until 2 or 3 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning getting everything up and ready to go so that it's party. live for you guys at 8.30. Yeah. So. So we kind of so play. I try not to test her. Yeah. <laughs> so Wednesday's, Wednesday's kind of a collaboration of what we have ready and yeah. to doing. But um, since we did have so much Christmas come, we do have some clearance. Not a lot of clearance on Christmas, though. I feel like I didn't have to clear as a whole lot of Christmas. We sold out of a lot of Christmas. Yeah, you, yeah. It is finally starting to come in, which is really nice. But, you mm -hmm. know. And what was the one that we opened last Saturday that I felt so bad we sold right out of? Last Saturday? Of Friday. Oh, the flannel one. Oh, the flannel um, one. The kits. Snow days. Snow days. We, out of the kits and out of the panels. And we did call, and um, we called on Friday um, to reorder stuff. They were completely out of panels. Can't do it. And even, um, like, some of the fun toss pieces, they were totally out of. Um, they were willing to put us on a waiting list. It's like, oh, I really don't want it to come in on in, you know, March of next year yeah. and I'm, that'd be too late so but what's kind of nice is if you see stuff you know on our box opening and you know that we're out of it or whatever you know check out with your local quilt shop we we really think that you know the local quilt shops um, depending upon what they're having maybe mm -hmm. maybe it's something you'll know the name of the line and you could call and see and mm -hmm. maybe 
maybe they have it in so because we're all getting them probably pretty much the same time yeah. don't you think uh, yeah I, mean, I think when the collections come in and they ship them all but out they don't so. give each other for sure a couple days yeah yeah so and we're slowly catching up to where we're ordering more than one yeah bolt of panels so it's unfortunate when we get only 18 of something that's, that's yeah not very nice hard. yeah and then the other thing I don't know what day um, but we're doing this next, so watch for it. I don't know if it's, she's going to put it up tomorrow or when, but um, Wendy Link from Illinois. I told uh -huh. her that I was going to give her a little shout-out. It was super nice. So Wendy called on Saturday, wanted, this was some of the fabric that had just come in. She was having trouble online ordering. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll help you with it. And it was really nice because then she says, oh, I just love those girls. I just <laughs> love them. And she was going on, and, oh, yeah, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, everybody's so nice. Oh, yeah. So I'm helping her. And then we're just kind of talking not about anything. And then I laughed. Yeah. And then she says, oh, is this Cindy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it is me. Well, you didn't tell me it was it. No. You need a little ego boost, you know, huh? I just liked listening to how much you <laughs> like Cindy. Like Cindy the best. That's what I remember mm -hmm. hearing. No. No, that wasn't. <laughs> Anyway, it was super nice. Anyway, super nice. So we talked for a while on the phone, and she wanted this striped fabric and wanted to make a table runner and had a bunch of questions. And I mm -hmm. told her, I says, oh, no, 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 no. You know, we say this all the time that when there's a fabric that's really, really cool and they've done all of the work for yeah. you, let it do all of the work for you. When you're making these projects and these gifts for people, they don't know. They don't they yeah. truly don't know the difference between something that took you 2 hours and something that took you 2 months. Mm -hmm. You know, they if they're not a quilter, they I don't know that they understand it. So it doesn't matter. You know what they notice is they notice how cute the fabric is and if it matches their aesthetic or whatever. So I'm going to show you this very simple and I um told Wendy this that um um, if you just take a half a yard of your striped fabric, um, uh, a half, well, I don't remember what the measurement is, it's more than a half a yard, of the batting, the table runner batting, and a half a yard of a backing, I'm just going to show you this little stitch and flip method. If you already know what I mean, you don't have to find the video, but if you're not sure what I mean, I'm just going to show you something that's going to take, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minutes for a super fast, easy table runner when you have a fabric that you really like and you just want to make something seasonal. Something way easier than what uh, Bev put together. Honey. Oh my god, I don't know. What's happening? Your voice is so soothing. It was Christmas. My voice sleep. is so soothing. <laughs> I just find you so mesmerizing. <laughs> Somebody said that to me once. Oh, if you did, um, what was it? If you did um, relaxation tapes, <laughs> it would put me to sleep every night. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> right? I take it that's why when I'm talking to Dad and he falls asleep in his chair. Ah, DNA. See, it just oh. be all creepy. Yeah. You put me to sleep. Anyway, so we're doing this, and then that we're doing. Fun. A lot of people have been commenting on some of the quick little ones, and we're trying to catch up on those a lot because yeah, you know, we've put a lot of a, a lot of our pearls of wisdom in a lot of the classes, but you have to sit through the whole video to see yeah. that. So we're pulling some of those out of there for you. That'd be good. Yeah, so you don't have to listen to our voice. Yeah. So Fall much. asleep and soothed. <laughs> like, ooh, shush. <laughs> Cindy, I missed that part. Oh. No. <laughs> Why is she still talking? Yeah. I'll just, uh, I should just start reading some poetry. We could put it on the relaxation channel. Oh! Tom might really like that. I don't know how soothing my voice really is. <laughs> we'll it's either soothing or irritating. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we will see you. We'll see you tonight. tonight for some box opening. For some box opening, yeah. or clearance, or both. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net. You don't have anything to drink? No. I could share. Uh, I need a little slip straw. <laughs> It's Why do you put, how can you lift that? It's hard for me to lift. Will you do lift it, it for me? Bro, no. I need a straw. I need a curly straw. This is way too heavy. Yeah, I don't know why you fill it all the way up. How much, how many ounces is that? I thought I needed it. I think this is like 64 ounces. Okay, probably not. It looks like it. I think it's, uh, 
I don't know, let me put it down. One of those big it. gulps. It's probably 32. 32? Well, lot. how many clicks did you put? That's what I'm asking. You're not Three? At how much? The top one. <laughs> I'm not. I think I did a 12, a 10, and a 10. 32? 32. Well, bam. And it's hot. It's good. But It'll I be often cold. Have hot by the time coffee. I. Oh, and Lizzie's here. Lizzie's here <laughs> to see what is happening. No, I don't need. No, I don't need you. We're fine. We're good. We got this. We got this. Did you need me to lift your coffee for you? <laughs> no, I'm not lifting it for her. <laughs> not happening. She's a big girl. Help her. That's crazy. I have a cowlick problem today. You have the same cowlick. Yeah, I know. It's the Rang cowlick. It's stupid. It's the same damn cow. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope Harper doesn't have it. I don't think she does, but Aurora does. Oh. Ryan does. He has the same little tuck yeah, right here. Right so front. he always wants his little mohawk, but it's like this flat Ring. and then mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Get it to go. <laughs> no matter what you do. No. All right.